Here we go. Hello, Richard Gates. Hi, nice to meet you. Are you ready to check out this diamond in the rough? I sure am. Let's go in. All right, let's see it. Picture this with everything done. Brand new appliances, brand new fixtures. Yeah, spacious. Oh, yeah. Original hardwood floors, 1800s. Original moldings in the 1800s. It has been a long time coming just to get the owners to agree to sell. In fact, it's taken me five years just to get them to let me put the listing on the market. And that's only because now they all live out of the area. In fact, I'm the only real estate agent they trust because I grew up with their children. So this listing is shown exclusively through myself and my cell phone. Well, I, I like exclusive. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the history? Yeah. You know, this building is owned by the same two families who originally had it built in the late 1870s. Uh, they were business partners in the 1800s. Now, currently, their descendants are the owners. But they are far from business partners. In fact, they've been in this bitter property battle with the building having so much value. Property battle. Yeah, so, you know, never able to agree with what to do with the building. They haven't updated or done any maintenance in the last 40 years, mm -hmm. which is why it's in such bad condition. One wants to sell while the other one wants to keep it. Okay, it's interesting. It is, and you'll notice the old world architecture molding the original Hardwood in the 1800s. That's 1800s? Oh yeah, it's original. Oh wow. Original late 1870s. Oh, it's great. They do not make buildings like this anymore. This building has solid bones. Yeah. Let me show you the rest of the place. Oh. You must be number two. Hi, I'm Richard Gates. I'm the realtor showing the building. Uh, the, you're selling the building? Yeah, the, the owners are looking to sell. And uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, what was your name? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm Kate. Uh, it's just kind of hard to believe they want to sell. They've owned it for years. It, yeah, hey, you know what? There's something important I need to speak to you about in private. Uh, do you have a minute? You know, oh, was, I'm sorry, I just wanted to ask Kate something. Sure. How long have you lived in this building? Uh, 10 years. 10 years? Okay. Nice to know. Okay, so Okay, well, you know, I know you got a lot to think over. Yeah. Um, I tell you what, any questions, give me a call. Okay. And uh, here's my card. All right, you guys. Thank you. All right, you. thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Look, I've been authorized by the owners of the building to negotiate on their behalf. They feel it's in their best interest to see what it would take to get you to move. To move? You, I, I can't afford to move. I don't even want to move. Yeah, Kate, Kate, look, it's in your best interest to work with me on this. Like, pick an amount you feel is worth it for you to actually move out. Are you trying to buy me out? Yes, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing because Believe it or not, when this building sells, and it will sell with or without you, they're going to gut it and they're going to build top dollar condominiums. I'm, I'm really sorry, but I am just getting home from work and I this is a lot. I understand. Look, uh, if you want to sit down and go over things, I'm happy to go over stuff with you. Uh, I feel uh, that th there's a lot of potential for you to make a substantial amount of money. And to be honest with you, it's it benefits me to have no tenants because I can sell the building faster. So you just you just let me, I, I gotta take this. Look, uh, I tell you what, here, uh, hang on. 
Hey, hello, this is uh, Richard Gates. One second. Um, just I'll tell you what, give me a call. We'll go over stuff, we'll sit down, we'll talk about it. Hey, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Yes, absolutely. You look incredible. I didn't even recognize you. I was gonna go out, but then I forgot I was getting a package delivered. You didn't see anything earlier, did you? Uh, no. Let me see. Oh, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Um, do you wanna come upstairs and maybe uh, let me make you a drink? You can tell me about all the ways that you're gonna make me money from moving out. Absolutely. Absolutely, I'd love that. Yeah. <laughs> the way I see it, you are gonna make some serious, serious money. I mean, not only will you be able to rent a place of your dreams, but you could probably even buy a property of your own if you wished. <laughs> I like hearing about all the ways you're gonna make me money. Way different. You know, you're gonna be so much more comfortable in a new place that has all the amenities, like a well, washer dryer, a dishwasher, a central air conditioning. I mean, yeah. Let me make you a drink. Thanks. Yeah. You know, I am so glad we met. I know so many people in this town. <laughs> the right people. People who can really, really open some doors. You know what I'm saying? I do. I do. Hey, look, 
I'm gonna make sure that you are so well taken care of. Why don't you let me know how this drink tastes? All right. I should be able to. I was a bartender for a long time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Me too, back in college. <laughs> I'm surprised I made it through college. I was at the bar seven nights a week. There is an unspoken respect <laughs> for bartenders, especially in college. I can definitely see you behind a bar. I was so good at it, man. Was I good at it? I was good at it. What? What? Me being good at bartending disturbs you? <sighs> no, 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 it's nothing. It's fine. Um, let's just go sit on the couch. Okay. <laughs> you. you know, the best part about you moving out hmm. is that you're gonna have money in your pocket. <laughs> I think we should start by asking the owners for 50K off, the, off of the sale. Okay. With, a, with a one month closing, in which time I can, you know, find you the apartment of your dreams. And I mean, one with all the amenities. I wanna do shots. Let's do shots. Yeah. Dryer, <laughs> dishwasher, <laughs> central air conditioning, <laughs> a parking space for that yeah. new car with all that extra <laughs> money you're gonna have. You got options. Uh, love it. Oh. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hey, Grandma. You know, this is gonna sound crazy, but I am in chains. I'm in a brick cell. There's a wooden door. I was with the girl in the building I'm selling. What did you say? You're in chains? At the barber shop. Above the barber shop. Stop messing with me, Richard. This isn't funny. I'm not messing with you, Grandma. I need help. Oh, okay. Well, uh, 
call 911 and uh, just hang in there. I'm going to find you. Hi, my name is Richard Gates. These drunk guys thought it was hilarious to take my phone and prank you guys. So I'm really sorry. What the hell is this? What are you gonna do to me? You need to shut up! Why am I in chains? Answer me! Shut up! Ah! God. Ah, what the? Ah, ah, ah. Quiet! How are you still alive? What did you say to them? Hello, yes. I just received a call from my grandson and, and he told me that he's in chains in a brick cell and there's a wooden door and he's with a girl in a building that he's selling that she lives above the barbershop on the ground floor. Yes, that's all I know. I, I told him to call you. No, I can assure you this is not a prank. I'm, I'm greatly concerned. I, I'm going to go around town and I, I'm, I'm going to look for him. And if you find out anything, you let me know and I'll do the same. Okay, thank you. Chief, what do you got? We just got a 911 call from a cell phone registered to a Richard Gates. Guy claims he's chained up in a brick cell. Location unknown. Something about he's with the girl that lives above a barber shop. Then a woman comes online and says she's being pranked by a drunk guy at a bar. Look, it's 8 a.m. Right, bars aren't open. So dispatch calls back, and the phone was off. Moments later, we get a call from Richard Gates' grandma. She says, she got a similar call from Richard. She's out looking for him now. I'm being told this Richard Gates guy is a local real estate broker. Yeah, I know him. We went to high school together. He's from Hoboken. All right, let me do some digging, see what I can find out about his whereabouts and this girl above a barber shop. Okay, treat this as an active investigation until we hear otherwise. Copy that. Hey, detective? Yeah, chief. How are you holding up? 100% chief. Yeah, okay. I know you've been working this James Madison missing persons case day and night. I'm good, sir. I'm just focused on finding him. You don't think he just ran off? No, I don't, sir. Not after interview after interview with his family. Seems like a good guy from a happy home. They are devastated from it and are certain there would have to be foul play in order for him to go missing. Look, I'll tell you from experience. Clues come when they come. If you're not getting enough sleep, you may be so tired you look right past them. Make sure you're getting eight hours a night. I need you sharp. Eight hours a night, copy that, Chief. Keep me posted on this Richard Gates. Yeah.
switch your gates, switch your gates, switch your gates. What did you say to them specifically? What did you say? Answer me! It's only gonna get a lot worse if you don't answer me. Tell them everything I can think of! Like what? Like I'm chained to the floor of a brick cell with a wooden door and I was with the girl above the barbershop of the building I'm selling. You told them about me? Yeah. I'm chained to the floor of a brick cell. And? Why are you doing this to me? I answered your question. Now answer mine. Why are you doing this to me? Why? Help! Shut up! Help! No, just shut up! Shut up, James! I'm sick of your shit! You just call me James. I'm not James. Who do you think I am? I know who you are. You're Richard. The real estate guy. No, you just call me James. Have you done this to someone else? you to shut up. You're lucky that you're still alive. You're supposed to be dead. with Hoboken PD. I don't mean to alarm you, but I need your help. We had a weird call this morning from the cell phone of Richard Gates. His phone has been going straight to voicemail all day. He called 911 saying he was being chained in a brick cell with a girl who lived above a barber shop. Does that ring any bells? Um, a girl above a barber shop. Did he give a name? The, the barber shop? No, no, unfortunately not. Any information you can give me is really helpful. Right um, now. I don't know of any kind that lives above a barber shop, but here's our commercial listings of barber shops we have. Here's a few. I hope it helps. Yeah, thanks. Great. And uh, if you think of anything else, please call. I will. Hey, how you doing? Good, you? I'd say I'm concerned. I got a crazy question for you. I'm looking for my grandson. He's a realtor selling a building with a girl who lives in it above a barber shop. Does that ring any bells for you? No. Is this place for sale? No. Is there a girl who lives above your shop? No. Hey, Grandma, everything changed. There's the girl with the donut I'm selling above the barber shop. I need help. Hang in there, I'm gonna find you. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna find you, kid. Hang in there, I'm gonna find you. Please, come on, okay, please. I wanna talk about this. You said shut up, James, and I want you to know that I'm not James. I'm somebody else, all right? I've, I, I think we can work this out. I felt like we had a connection. I was just trying to- I told you to shut up. No, no, I don't deserve this, okay? I was trying to help you. I'm so confused. I'm just so confused right now. This is not fair to me. Shut up. I'm trying to think. No, no, no. no. You said shut up, James. And I, I, I'm, 
I'm not James, okay? If you think I am, I'm not. I'm somebody else. I am nothing like him. Yeah, you're worse. You said you were selling this building with or without me and that I would have to sleep on the street if I don't take your deal. No, 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 no. I was just looking out for your best interest so you didn't have a hardship when the building sells. You're not selling this building. Oh, okay, okay. But why do you even care? You rent. Why do you care if the building sells or, uh, or not? I have my reasons. Is it James? Is, 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 he, is, it, is he somewhere down here, like me? Is he chained up? Did you kill him? You did, didn't you? You killed him, didn't you? You uh, didn't even know James! You're right, you're right. He's probably a f douchebag. No, he's not. He was the best thing that ever happened to me. Except he didn't even want me. He just wanted to be friends. We had everything. So one night, I was trying to get him in the mood, and I gave him the same shit that I gave you, except he died. It was just supposed to knock him out. You were just trying to knock me out. God, you're so self-centered. No, I was trying to kill you. Kill you peacefully. You're not supposed to be that gruesome. But you didn't die like James did. I don't want to die like James did. James. I'm just saying you got potential, okay? I mean, look how many regulars you have. Yeah, but starting a bar takes a lot of money. Look, investors invest in what makes sense, and you owning a bar makes sense, Kate. <laughs> You're very sweet, but I don't know. Thanks for the vote of confidence. No problem. Let's uh, make some drinks. Ooh, I love one. One idea is you can ask around, you know, see how many investors you can get first in opening a bar. I don't know, like, what am I supposed to do? Just randomly call up people like, hey, can you just give me money? I don't know. What would I even say? Like, you know how you like my drinks? Do you want to just fund my new bar? It's too much. Get out of your nest. <laughs> We'll say how you like this. Let's see. Mm, okay, you see this? This is so amazing, Kate. I'm telling you, let's throw a party and you have people taste some of your specialties. It's a great idea. I have an idea. Let's do some shots. Really? Yeah. Are you trying to get me drunk to take advantage of me, Kate? Maybe. <laughs> Cheers.
You killed the person you loved. You wrapped them in plastic and bricked his body in here. Yeah. He's in that tunnel right there. Why did you have to bring him up? You mentioned him. I was just trying to understand you. Well, do you understand me? It was a horrible accident. This does not have to be what happened to James. I shouldn't have let this go on as long as I did. I'm a very forgiving person. We can work this out. I love to help people. I can help. Richard, he's a real estate agent. Yeah, that's Richard. He's uh, selling the building for the owners. Well, he called me. He told me that he has been chained up in a brick cell with a wood door. And he was with a girl who lives above the barber shop. <laughs> we don't have a brick cell around here. Well, what about that girl upstairs? That girl upstairs? Mm. She's hot. But she's whacked. I doubt she's the taken prisoner this time. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her. She's a number two. Oh, and Miss, if you need a haircut, we do 15% off on all senior citizens. Oh, everybody's a comedian. Do you know my Richard? Richard, yeah, he's the real estate agent um, selling the building. He's actually helping me move out and get me money so I can afford to leave. Huh. Well, he called me and told me that he's chained up in a brick cell with a wooden door. I don't know where that could be. He said he was with you last. He came by. Can you hear me, boy? Richard! Grandma! What have you done with my Richard? Richard? Oh, oh, oh Grandma! Richard. Oh, my God! In here! God. Grandma! Oh, my God! Oh, my Grandma! God. <laughs> Richard, I am gonna get you out of here! Oh, oh. Grandma! No! Grandma! Grandma! No! Get away from her! Get away from her! Do you Mother. see? Do you see what you made me do, Richard? What is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What is wrong with you? You're the one. You're the one that had to sell the building. I had no choice. Oh, you're crazy. This is crazy. You're crazy, Richard. You're crazy for thinking you could coerce me into moving no, out. No, I'm trying to help you. I was trying to help you. Who gets paid to move out? Nobody. That's who. Nobody gets paid to move out. I was going to get you $50,000 in a brand new nice apartment. Sure. Oh, 
Grandma. Grandma. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I am so. <laughs> he came to help me. He came to find me. Oh my God. Get out of me. Hey, you work here? Yeah. What can I do for you, officer? I'm Detective Marsh with Hoboken PD. Have you seen this man? His name's Richard Gates. He's a realtor in Hoboken. I'm trying to locate him. The second person asked about that guy today. An older woman just came by looking for him earlier. When was this? When I lit my cigarette less than 15 minutes ago. She went that way. She looked upset. Okay, uh, anything else? Okay. If you think of anything else, please give me a call. people going missing. <sighs> Better find this girl above a barber shop before she does. Besides, she's too heavy, so I'm gonna get my furniture dolly. <laughs> 
Hello? Help me. I'm gonna get everybody out of here. You buried me back here and left me for dead. James Mass. Unbelievable. How can I help you? I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna get you out of here, okay? Alright, look, look, she 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 had me in chains. She she slit my grandmother's throat. She could come back at any minute. I don't know when she's gonna come back, okay? We got we, we got some time. She just went upstairs. I don't know how much time. Alright? Grandma! 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 Oh, she cut your throat. Okay, but I think she, she missed the main artery. Right? She got another guy bricked in over there. We gotta get him. Oh. Right now, okay? Come on. We need to get up. Oh. You're almost free, okay? It's dark in there. She won't notice it. I gotta get her out of here. I will come back to you. I promise. Come on, let's go. Hoboken PD. Have you seen this man? His name's Richard. Richard. Yeah, he's selling the building. Was that old woman with you? The old woman is here? She's on the second floor talking to that girl. Uh, do you have a key to access the building? Sure. I need you to let me in right now. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Of course, of course. And, uh, officer, yeah. we do 50% off on all haircuts for all police officers in Hoboken.
it's not the right key. I'm so sorry. Hold on, I'm just panicking a little bit. I'm frantic. took my gun. I need you to return it to me. you get in there with them so I can see you. I'm a police officer. You need to give me the gun. No. Move and I'll shoot you. Hands up. He was torturing me. I'm gonna go to prison. Why, bitch? Yes. You attacked me, okay? I'm a police officer. What? Okay, I'm Detective Marsh with the Hoboken PD. You need to give me the gun and stop pointing it at us. No. How do I know you're not gonna hurt me? How do I know you're not one of them? Just twisting it to make it seem like she's the victim. I am the victim. Oh, oh shit. She's trying to stop me from selling the building because she thinks she killed her boyfriend and buried him in that dungeon. You killed him. Then you tried to kill me just so you could sell this building? Officer, please, please, you have to believe me. She drugged him because he just wanted to be friends. She thought that if they hooked up that he would love her. You killed him. You killed James. He was the love of my life and you took that from me. I didn't even know him, Kate. James Madison? I've been searching for him. Is he buried in the building? probably exhume the body and do a forensic test to prove that he did it, right? Is one crazy bitch. She dead? Hope so. Now she's still breathing. Hey, James. I've been looking for you. I'm hit. Oh. 
Oh, okay, we need to get her and myself to a hospital right now. What about her? Hella hath no fury like a woman scorned. She said she loved me, poisoned me, buried me alive and left me for dead. Jail's too good for her. She needs a taste of her own medicine. An eye for an eye. Yeah. There's a cop here. Yeah, she's passed out in shock. Look, you and me, get her out of here and we'll call for help. And, and James, is it? Yeah. Rick her in. Wait. She tried to kill you and me and my grandson. We'll give her a taste of her own medicine and then we're gonna let you decide when we're gonna let her go, at which point she is gonna go to jail. What happens when the cops come to investigate? We'll say she shot her and then she ran off. Unless, James, you just want to wash your hands of the whole thing and let the police come and take her. I felt like I was in there for forever. How did you survive? Drank the rainwater that leaked into the bricks. Thank you guys for helping me. Thank you, I'm pretty sure you saved our lives. You two get her some help. I'll brick her in. I escaped through a pretty small hole, so it shouldn't take that long. Come, my lady. Call 911. Call 911, man. Call him. Hi, right, yes, a uh, man just came in to the barbershop on Washington. He's bleeding. He told me to call 911. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Scene 18, take one. No. Okay. For you to move out. Wait, what? You want me to move out? I can afford to move out. Besides, I don't want to move. Location for the dungeon. Okay. What? She ain't gonna see the bricks. She ain't gonna know that you're here. If you're in there, it's dark. We gotta go back and film. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. That was great. Good. Okay, that's it. We got it. That was good. Yeah. So, Victoria, you're going to be directing it away from everyone. Shoulder, because it's just going to clip you. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dungeon. Victoria Me.
got Sheldon Nicholas here playing James Madison. Okay, he walks in, sits down, and you wait a few seconds, he walks in, sits down. Action. I get to die today. Yeah, the Make sure. Okay. And and right That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying take risks in your acting because you gotta you gotta understand the goofy side of you that people don't see is when you're vulnerable most. You're comfortable around your friends. You're saying the funniest things. And if you could bring that to an audition, you could really open up your true character of why you know you're a good actor instead of being shelled. Don't shell yourself from the from the camera. Don't shell yourself from the casting. Bring out that funniness in you. One of the hardest working actors that I know. This guy wants it. He grinds. He's hungry. Let's go for it. Camera one's rolling. Put it on Tara's face. Camera two rolling. Scene 46, take three. Speed. Camera two is rolling. Scene 21, take two. Camera rolling. Yep. Okay. Ram again. Telebalance card. This is blue. <laughs> Hello, blue. Are you trying to get me drunk to give me a Making movie magic is what it takes. Teamwork makes the okay, dream work. Right. Everybody wants to be a filmmaker until it comes down to uh, making films. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot of hard work. I look where I'm at. Just a little, little corner trying to get the shot. We're shooting at 6K and um, it's an Andy Bowles production. It's going to be awesome. Got a wonderful cast, wonderful crew. And there goes Andy. How's Jet's hair? How's my hair? My hair looks good. Jet was on camera for like two seconds. Yeah, but I look good. <laughs> Real life Grand Theft Auto just breaking into police cars with Andy Bowles. All right, my best. Players back. And as she goes, as she goes to Amos, and you hit her with a pipe, and then she just drops, but gunfire. Yeah. But we're not gonna actually see the gunfire. You notice all these cobwebs? They're made of hot glue. So you made all this. Walked in here after meeting this real estate guy, and he left his impression on me. And then I was talking to my landlord, and gave me the idea for the movie, and it just spiraled into all this. 